Right, we're just going to have a look at wake on LAN and the required settings for that. So we're looking at one of our PCs, laptops that we use. And there's a number of areas that we need to have a look at. You can ignore these for the time being. These are just my block storage nodes for OpenStack. But as we look down through, we've got the control panel. Uh, first word of warning, of course, is we need to ensure that the BIOS settings are actually set. And for a lot of modern devices, there's nothing really needs to change there. It's probably something under power management in BIOS, and you need to enable the ability to support wake on LAN. So going through the settings that are required within Windows itself, within Windows 7, as we can see, we are going to go through a couple of areas. First of all, let's go into hardware. And so now this is, this is purely um, optional this first part and this is going through to the power options and require a password on wake up so select that from the left hand side as we see down here we've got require or don't require a password so we can save those changes that might be useful if you've got your own little test environment and you just want to speed things up when you get in so going back to the control panel and a couple of places we need to go first of all let's go to systems and security and firewalls and we're going to go into advanced setting on firewalls and wait for that to come up. We're looking at the inbound rules in particular. We're going to set up a new rule and it's going to be against a particular port. Now some options use port 7, some use port 8, some use port 9 and some use port 40,000. Particularly an example of, of awake on land being recognized as wall as for as 40,000 as the port number if you said it's port 7 it'll be recognized as echo in Wireshark we're going to go port it's a UDP port they all are and we're going to go for port number 7 and that's common across all of my configurations so allow the connection and then you can select which of the areas domains you want that to apply to I'd probably set that just for private and within the same domain um, but it's perfectly okay for where we are and it's my week on LAN option so that's what I'm going to call it and we can see that that is enabled another area we need to go to filter by group and it's file and print sharing and you will see here we've got two areas for ICMP pings so we want to be able to support those as incoming request you can do the same for ipv6 as well if you are testing with an ipv6 and you see both of those were enabled if they weren't i'd have to enable those so i'd select those and then i'd actually come in and enable them whereas if i've got disable the rule mode, that would be enable rule in that case so that's all done right, so that's the firewall setup so we've not asked for a password on power up so the power options uh, or effectively on wake so within the power options we've changed the firewall rules so the other thing we need to do in the control panel is to go to the actual interfaces themselves and change the adapter settings. A couple of ways you could do this, you could get through to device manager as well to do this. Local area connection, so right click on properties and hit configure. Now the options here, there's two. We'll start with the first one, which is power management. So we need to allow that. And also we need to go into advanced and scroll down you might find pme up here which will be need to be enabled but uh, the one that we're really looking for is a little bit further down shut down week on LAN should be enabled that's the default setting and week on magic packet enabled that's also default and wake on pattern match that's also there as well as this which i just essentially leave as is so the wake on LAN and shut down link speed so all being well that's all done so it's okay so that's the configuration settings essentially for the local area connection so in, in a sort of a recap we've we've done the firewall we've also gone into the hardware settings and we've also checked the network adapter settings so the only thing that could be amiss is the bios settings and that'll be different per machine so into bios and so with most modern ones you'll probably find wake on lan is either not configurable because it's there by default or, or again, he's on by default anyway. 
So that is all we need to do on each and every one of our devices to then be able to use Wake on LAN to uh, enable those. And that's what we'll do next.